All right, here's how to simulate cloth in After Effects. Sort of simulate, this isn't true 3D fabric simulation, but this is how to do a faux fabric in After Effects. So check this out. And again, made in 100% uh, After Effects. Here's what I uh, got the idea from, the uh, old Lois and Clark TV series. I remember watching this as a kid and thinking the shot was really cool. Pretty much just the credits. Kind of a neat idea. So here's uh, here's how I did this. Start out with some kind of a logo. Um, it's on a transparent background. This is just a solid with a mask on it. Nothing too fancy. You can either use uh, your logo or words or just straight fabric or color or whatever you want to do after that. This I added for the one that I rendered out. I had a solid background if that helps, so you can do that if you wish. Alright, so first thing after you have your logo is to actually make the cape, whatever dimensions you want your fabric or flag or whatever it is that you're making. And then secondly, or I guess thirdly or whatever that is, we're gonna make a displacement map. Basically what this is, is using black and white values to distort an image or a video or something. I start out with just a 50% gray uh, solid. If you open up the solid settings here you can see the brightness is 50%. That's what 50% gray means. It's exactly between black and white. So in this anything that is gray is not going to be distorted at all. And what is white will be distorted forward, black, backwards, and everywhere in between. Here's what this looks like so you can see what we're kind of going for. I'll show you how we did this. I started with just some fractal noise with lots of blur on it, if I remember right, yeah. Animated the evolution, the expression, and blurred it a ton. Nothing too crazy there. Uh, next, I made some ripples. This I did using what's called Wave World. I'll show you how that works really quick. Let's make a new solid. There's a preset called Ethereal, I believe. Yeah. Well, and what this does is it uses the wave world and it just creates a bunch of ripples that look cool. For this, I don't really care about the median or the color, so we can get rid of those. Um, and I also got rid of all the keyframes, if I remember correctly. You can just move your origin around to get some kind of ripples that you want. I, I did mine in the center, so kind of it was somewhat symmetrical. And then again, blurred that a ton. I made a black instance, so it was rippling the black. And then I also made a white one. And the rest of these are just various blurs and other things. Whoops. Just to get a nice blurred look. And then I put in another composition, made it loop. And there you have it for that. So for the actual compositing everything together, I just made a cheesy background, just some blurry dots to make some kind of stars. I brought in my cape composition that I made back here. I also brought in the composition for the loop. And then for the cape layer, I set the displacement map to be the cape, set the horizontal and vertical to luminance. And I just kind of mess around with the values to whatever you think works for whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. and this essentially is just going to distort the cape with, let's turn this down so we can see what we're doing. The rest of these are just color correction. Turbulent displace is also another distortion thing. It just kind of ripples everything animate that and play with the values as needed. It's a 3D layer, so we can uh, rotate this if you need. So if you need to fly a camera around it, you can. The last thing I did on here was a mesh warp to kind of give it a little bit more shape and so you don't see just these super straight lines from a mathematical layer. And then just a drop shadow, just to separate it a little bit. I don't know if people would see that in the video or not. Nothing too fancy. And then here's where my, I guess, favorite part comes in. 
is I go back to the cape layer and I bring in for our displacement map and bring it in and put it on top of I'll show you what these look like without it. So there's our map. I made one for the highlights, crushed them down with some curves just to get these really bright spots. My blend mode is linear dodge. And then for the shadows, did the same thing, just crushed it all way down. Blend mode is set to multiply. So what this is doing is allowing us to shade the surface of the map without actual 3D lights, but using the same map that we used to distort our surface originally is now being used to shade it. So we're kind of giving a dual purpose out of our displacement map. And that, that way it actually matches. So pretty cool. And then let's see, the rest of these are, we'll turn our logo back on, and the shadow, I just added a little shadow to give it a little bit of dimension. And then here's the fun part. I just made a loopable fabric texture, stuck it on top, played around with the blend modes until I found something I liked. You get this kind of interesting little look here. You go back over to my composite, you see what it actually looks like. This is not rendered out, so it's looking kind of nasty. But there you go, there's a, a basic way to simulate some cloth in After Effects without having to do it in Cinema 4D or Maya or whatever if you're not a 3D person. So that way you can stay completely in After Effects. It's not incredibly photorealistic, but with a little bit more tinkering, you can make it be quite smooth, I think. So there you go. Thanks.